How to take care of a Rolex Do you believe that Rolex watches need special care? Well, in today's video, we'll show you how to take proper care of a Rolex. A Rolex watch is a significant investment and a valuable part of your life. When you take good care of it, your Rolex should continue to work flawlessly, with little upkeep, almost indefinitely. But before we get into that, I want to tell you about what happened last week. My friend came over for my birthday and gave me a Rolex watch. Now you need to know that she is a very attractive lesbian. And I always told her, I want a watch. So I guess she just understood that one wrong. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things about Rolex. Hello to all of you and welcome to Watch Divine. Everyone is aware of how expensive it is to own a Rolex watch. Each Rolex watch is manufactured by hand and it takes almost one year to make a single watch. It's a testament to their quality and attention to detail. That's why Rolex prices are high. Naturally, you'll want to take good care of something you've spent so much money on to wear and enjoy for many years. So, stay tuned because we have some of the best Rolex care tips coming right up. Number one, wear a Rolex to keep it lubricated. You might not have guessed it, but one of the best things you can do to take care of your Rolex is to wear it. Of course, you need to be careful not to damage it when you do. Although Rolex watches are renowned for their toughness and longevity, it is inevitable that your Rolex may acquire dents and scratches over time. In fact, a lot of Rolex fans take pride in these scuffs since they represent a life well lived. It will cost you money to replace the sapphire crystal and bezel if they are damaged. The dials of vintage Rolex watches are protected by acrylic crystal, while the bezels of vintage Rolex sport watches are made of aluminium. Also, sports watches often have ceramic bezels, while more recent Rolex watches have sapphire crystals. Recall that sapphire and ceramics are far more expensive to replace on Rolex watches than acrylic and aluminium. When wearing your Rolex, make sure the winding crown is securely fitted into the case. This will assist in keeping moisture, dirt and debris out of your watch. Don't forget about the Rolex Daytona screw-down pusher either. Wearing it almost brings your Rolex watch to life because the majority of them have automatic movements. Your Rolex will keep ticking as long as you wear it. However, if you do decide to put it away for some time, you'll need to hand wind the movement by rotating the winding crown a few times to start it moving again. An older Rolex might need to be lubricated after laying still for a long time, but a more modern Rolex has synthetic lubricants that last much longer. Number two, to keep your Rolex running, Wear it. A Rolex watch is too lovely to be kept in a drawer. Instead, it should be worn frequently. Wearing a Rolex, however, not only makes it look fantastic on your wrist, but also keeps it working. The self-winding perpetual movement from Rolex records the minute movements of your arm as you move it all day. But if you remove the watch from your wrist for an extended period of time, it will ultimately stop and will require a reset. The majority of Rolex watches require daily, or occasionally bi-weekly, wear in order to function properly. Although letting your watch stop won't harm its movement, having to set the time and date before using it again might occasionally be unpleasant. If you only sometimes wear your Rolex watch, you can prevent it from pausing by using a watch winder, which will keep it ticking no matter how much time it is off your wrist. But a Rolex doesn't need a watch winder, actually, and if you do use one, you need to be careful with it and make sure you use the right settings for your watch. For most Rolexes, that would be 650 turns per day, bi-directionally. Number 3. First Timers Care A Rolex watch must be adjusted manually in order to operate correctly and precisely before being worn for the first time or it has stopped. Completely detach the winding crown, then rotate it several times clockwise to manually wind the watch. A sufficient partial winding requires at least 25 turns. 
To ensure waterproofness, gently screw the crown back against the case. Once wound, the watch will continue to run on its own, so long as it is worn around the wrist. Number 4. Never hesitate to wind your Rolex. Even though it's often not necessary, unless you have an early version with a hand wind movement, you can manually wind your watch using the winding crown, just like you would with any other mechanical watch. Additionally, much like the majority of automatic watches, Rolex models come with an internal mechanism that stops you from winding your watch too much, so you don't have to be concerned about perhaps harming your watch. Just adhere to these three simple methods to manually wind your Rolex watch. The winding crown should first be entirely freed from the threads holding it to the case's side. The winding crown should then be turned at least 25 times in a clockwise direction. The mainspring will stop receiving tension once it is entirely coiled. Restore your watch's water resistance and safeguard it from moisture and dust by screwing the top back down to the case after you have done winding it. Last but not least, it's crucial to remember that winding your Rolex cannot always make it start up immediately. If your watch still won't operate after manually winding it, gently jiggle it back and forth to get it going. It is always advisable to have your watch checked out by a licensed mechanic or authorized retailer if after doing this it won't start the watch. They will be able to identify the problem and let you know if any servicing or repairs are necessary. Are you finding these tips helpful? Then subscribe to our channel and give this video a like and we will continue with our list. Number 5. Rolex Watch Care on a Daily Basis Unambiguously, your Rolex watch does not require everyday maintenance. We entirely understand if you choose to polish it every morning though. It is an extremely beautiful product that any owner can be proud of. You ought to want it to look its best, after all. Each morning, all that needs to be done for maintenance is to gently polish the metal strap and face with a microfiber cloth. Another great routine to get rid of sweat or grime from the day before is to polish the back. This quick and easy process will guarantee that your statement watch looks the part. Models with a leather belt simply require that the case's face and back be polished. Number 6. Handle scratches on your Rolex. Scratches are unavoidable if you intend to wear your Rolex watch frequently. There are, however, ways to keep your precious asset from getting scratched. For example, when you take it off at night, place your Rolex on a clean cloth and steer clear of the band, other metals and wood. Also, don't keep it laying on its side so lubricants don't collect on one side of the watch. When not in use, this is a great method to put your priceless watch to rest. For models with leather straps, polishing is only necessary on the case's face and rear. There are some techniques to remove scratches at home if the scratches on your Rolex wristband, case and crystal are irritating you and it's still some time before your next service. While some Rolex users are opposed to DIY restoration procedures, others have no problem using store-bought supplies and straightforward approaches. Find one that works best for you if you are up to it. There are many goods such as polishing pastes, cloths and solutions out there to get the task done at home. Find a professional if not. Number 7. Storing your Rolex It's a good idea to store your Rolex correctly when it's not being worn. The box that your Rolex came in is an excellent place to store it. An additional option is a watch box that holds several watches. Just be careful not to stack them on top of one another, as this would definitely result in some undesired scratches. Keep your Rolex away from dampness and direct sunshine when it's stored. Imagine a safe-like, cold, dark space. Additionally, you should store your Rolex away from electronics like headsets, your phone or computers to prevent subjecting the movement to magnetic fields. Some of you might also think about purchasing a watch winder so that your Rolex watch will continue to function even while it is not on your wrist. But your Rolex actually doesn't need one and watch winders have been known to damage Rolexes. So just be cautious when you do use one. 
Number 8. Rolex Servicing and Maintenance The fact that Rolex watches require very little expert care is one of the numerous benefits of owning one. They are created using the best watchmaker technical process and the finest materials. Even so, having your Rolex serviced every couple of years is a terrific method to make sure that your precious asset is still operating as intended and hasn't been harmed by outside influences. If you observe problems like dampness under the face, it is also crucial. Make sure your service provider is either an authorized Rolex retailer or a recognized expert with experience in servicing Rolex watches. Typically, independent experts are less expensive, but before hiring them, please check their qualifications. And now, a special tip because you watch this video till the very end. Keep your Rolex watch clean on a regular basis, depending on how often you will wear it. Simply wash a complete metal Rolex watch in warm water with mild soap to clean it. Also, you can use a soft brush to clean regions that are more difficult to reach, particularly in and around the lugs and between the bracelet links. Once all of the soap has been removed from your Rolex watch, dry it with a soft cloth and you are ready to go. Hope you found these tips useful because this was everything for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel Watch Divine and hit that notification bell to stay updated on anything Rolex. Do you have some tips about taking care of a Rolex? Drop them in the comments section below. Thank you and see you in the next episode.